Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, you can hear me. Greetings, fellow seekers of knowledge. It's your boy, Isaac Anzu. And we're here again to make some uh, love. <laughs> uh, some romantic music is on the docket today. Oh my, it's so romantic. Uh, this is a, um, once again, sponsored stream, uh, commission for, for a friend. Uh, we're going to shout out. Yeah. Board brain. Board brain. Board brain. Look at this little, look at this little bird. Yes, board brain. Um, and I'm going to say this music is for board brain. Uh, check them out. Boom. And pinned. Yeah. Sponsored stream. <laughs> uh, I don't get real sponsors. I did get an offer from a pistachio company once. But I turned it down because we are very small and I don't want to shill pistachios. I want to shell pistachios. Oh, okay. That's enough of that. Um, the nice thing about this piece of music is that we have actually a lot of good uh, sample music to work with. So let's pull some of that up, shall we? Uh, and I think Juan is still, oh no, perfect. The scene works perfectly. Okay, so this dude is doing something he calls ro a romantic drumming. Um. Oh, it's pretty loud. I forgot I still have the volume up from when we were uh, doing art. There we go. So this is kind of like R&B style. Although based on the description of the video, it seems like he called it romantic drumming because um, <laughs> one of his light bulbs blew out. So it's kind of like a romantic lighting setting. But you can kind of see a little bit what, what we're going for here. R&B style. Groovy. Probably take it a little slower to crank up the romance, you know. All right, not even that long of a video. Okay. Next up, oh, um, for this one, I'm going to mute the audio here because this is off of a soundtrack, and EA will absolutely have my ass if they hear me playing The Sims music on stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very similar R&B style drumming, uh, but with brushes instead of sticks. I wonder if I have a brush set on my drums. That's definitely something that I should be looking up. All right, we can uh, go back there. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, Let's listen to our our drum essentials. 
Do we have a a brush kit? Now that is something I don't know. What is it? a uh, brush? Core library. Samples. Drums. I hat brush. Hell yeah. Okay, we do have some. Yeah. We do have some brush sounds. Uh, what's in the concrete? That's a brushed gong. Interesting. And in the loop masters, we have the, ooh, the brush snare. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so remember the rule. The rule is you can't copyright beats. So let's go to Oh, and that's such a good beat too. Let's learn how to transcribe a drum drum section. First off, we're gonna just make this on the old standby Memphis Studio Kits. Uh, this does not have brushes on it, but we'll get by. Yeah, he's got he's got a bit of he's doing some fills here, but it's because he's playing by himself. Start with the bass. So one, two, three, four. Bump, dump, bump, bump, ba dump, 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 bump, bump, ba dump, dump. Right? Bump, ba dump, 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 dump. No, that's not right. Uh, let's listen to just the bass drum. Just the bass drum. You know, it's interesting because he's not exactly playing in time, uh, but, you know, that's part of being a drummer. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. Ba, 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 Still not feeling it. He's using... He's using the closed hi-hat as his... beat. So, why don't we just... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Loop. What's his tempo? Like one ten. I can't see anything I'm doing right now. Let's let's uh let's switch back to this view, shall we? All right, excellent. Beats happen. Uh, 
paparap paparap he does it he does it very cleanly the first time and then i think he puts it on autopilot and varies it and the first time is at 30 bum ba dum ba dum dum Yeah. Bump the. Yeah. It's not the cleanest. Ooh. Uh, Gormal Tutopi. Hello, Sir Isaac. How are you? Hello, Sir Topi. Welcome. Uh, we're just trying to uh, listen to this. Um, listen to this little drum pattern. And uh, make it our own. Let's see. Now we need a snare pattern, which is probably the hardest part. So he's really he's really going like every sixteenth now, really. Um maybe every sixteenth note that doesn't have the hi hat on it. But even then. It's all about the accents. Like that ain't right. Right. So let's just start by making all these much quieter. Yeah. This one's loud. This one's loud. No. These two are loud. Yeah. If you like this. Feeling good, feeling good. Okay, I think this is enough that we can just kind of take this as our base pattern and expand on it in our own way. That way it's no longer about, you know, copying this dude's quote unquote romantic drumming exactly. Instead, we're gonna do our own thing. So uh, first things first, let's do change up these sounds. So we need the brush sounds again. I like this brush snare. Well, or do I? But I like this brush snare. either of them. Uh, I also want to turn down the...
Hmm. Yeah, the problem is that these brush snares are not multi-sampled. That helps. Okay. We're grooving. But is is it enough groove? No. Never. Let's let's add a literal groove. Maybe maybe a swing. No, that's too bouncy. I don't hate the groove. We need to add some variety to it. So let's do that. We'll keep the we'll keep this going as it is. Yeah, nice and nice and nice and chill. We don't need to be like even these are a little too loud, don't you think? For sure. Okay. So this pattern goes here and here on the first bar and the third bar. And then in the second bar, we want to change up the pattern. Kind of, yeah. Let's try it. Definitely. Good feel. And then maybe in the last bar, we add a little bit of spice. Now, he was also throwing in hi hats or, or Symbol hits all over the place. So let's take these brush sounds. Um, we've got this open hi hat symbol sound. Um, which we can put here. Uh, 
Not as loud. We've also got a ride symbol. So let's change out the ride symbol. I don't think we're using the toms in this in this piece, but we can add the ride symbol. That's a little groove, isn't it? I don't know how I feel about this bass. The kick is very kicky. Um, let's just get a nice like, just like a, a little bump. I don't hate these. Uh, let's 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 uh, give it a try. Let's play here. Yeah, that's nice. Just had to turn it down a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit chiller, a little bit smoother, more romantic. Oh, SSOMM 20 times two. Hello. Hello, greetings. Welcome. Uh, we're hanging out today, writing some music. Call me Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. I'm Isaac Anzi. I'm Eric VTuber, um, and today we are looking at some uh, different kinds of music to see if we can put together a romantic track for a VTuber friend of mine. All right, we've got kind of a nice chill drum vibe going on. I like it. So the next piece I was told to listen to is this one. <laughs> I tried to use this, but I don't understand anything. <laughs> uh, it can be it can be tough to learn. There's a lot of good tutorials out there. Uh, you just gotta really. For me, the best way is I put in the time to watch the tutorial and try to recreate what they're doing as close as I can. And that really helps me learn if I can, you know, do it all the way through once or twice. Definitely a huge, huge impact. All right, let's listen to this. Okay. Drum solo. What does that sound? Oh, okay. I like that. So I was told to listen to just that that um, piano coming in there. So let's let's make a piano. And it goes boom, 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 boom.
Of course. How could I not see it? It was so easy. The the minor pentatonic scale. Um let's let's make a loop of that. And it's one, two, three, four, bum 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 bum. So uh nice and loud. One, two, three, one, two, three. Nope, not high enough. Boom, boom. <laughs> I think I'll download it again and try it. Yeah, yeah, you should. Uh, make music, it ain't easy. But, uh, you know, nothing that's worthwhile is easy, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, 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 His name's Studio FL. Uh, so that would be Fruity Loops Studio, which is an excellent program, and I recommend it. Uh, this, however, is uh, Ableton Live. And I believe there is a free version, but this version is not free. Yeah, there we go. That's the that's the melody. But it doesn't quite work with our drum part. Kind of sitting on top of there with no way to do anything. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Doesn't have quite the same energy, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like that. I do like that trill as well. So let's see if we can slow that idea down. So if I take that idea and just just play it over the drums. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. Okay. Understood. Got it. What to do? Do, do, do. Uh, the app name is Ableton Live. But it's lower. Adjectives are going for waiting room style intro song for an art channel or a romantic music. Looking for strings as well. <sighs> I don't hate it. It's just not going anywhere.
Also, the tone isn't quite right. Why don't we fix that first? try to make hell step music like EDM from hell hell dubstep that sounds pretty sick actually I want to hear that what's what is is hell step already a genre I have to look this up now hell step Dubstep plus hell equals hell step. Excellent. I like it. What's hell music though? It's like metal, heavy metal, rash metal. All right, this sound is much better, but we can we can do even more with it. Yeah, let's just. Let's just add the slightest bit of overdrive. No. It's like dubstep, but it makes your PC drop out. Oh, could you crash a PC just through the audio driver? I'm sure you could. That'd have to be some intense music, though. I wonder if that's possible. So Hellstep is actually just like frequencies unknowable to man. Hell music. <laughs> Doesn't hell yeah, how's it going, Crundle? That hell stuff sounds interesting, right? Right? I wanna hear some I wanna hear some do it. So we are looking for let me just uh two minutes or less of a looping song. And this is 10 seconds. How are we going to get all the way over here to two minutes? Uh, do you have a discord? I, I, I do have a discord server right now. It's just uh, open to mutuals and uh, friends, people that I'm, I'm very familiar with because there's not a whole lot going on right there right now, and I'm trying to develop the the server a little bit more, understand a little bit more about Discord before I open it up to the public for for real, for real. Um, so not yet, not yet. <laughs> Is the public facing answer? It's a friend Discord right now. Crundle says, "Weird, I'm up to date this week. It's it's weird." Well, uh, if you're up to date, do some maintenance tasks, you know, like uh, clean up the house a little, do the stuff you don't normally have time to do, right? Or if you have everything in your plan and you're all up to date, then I don't know, play a, play a video game or read a book that you haven't uh, in a while or sit down and watch a stream. If we're talking about two minutes of music, less than two minutes of music, how many how many phrases is this? Eleven. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm sorting old clothes at the moment. Tomorrow I have a gun plow I want to. Ooh, nice. Good luck. Uh, I did. I did model building when I was younger, and that is such a good, like, manual dexterity task. And you can just listen to whatever you want to listen to while you do it. It's great. Um, I did cars, and I did one battleship. Oh, that was pretty cool. A uh, bunch of cars back in the day. Um, the download will make the Wi-Fi bad. Ah. Uh, yeah, I feel, I feel, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm basically running a cable right now from one side of my apartment to the other side of my apartment just so i am not on wi-fi <laughs> uh because the, the chillest and coolest place for my computer also just so happens to be um the opposite side of the apartment from the wi-fi hookup how do you make the piano in the app um this piano, this one, this is this is on my stream. This is not part of the app. I made that myself. Um, the piano in the app. Uh, so this is this is the piano roll over here. Um, Same, same like white and black notes, obviously, uh, except you can fold it up and only use the uh, notes that you have. But this is this is the piano roll view where you would input notes into the the piano. Thank you. Of course, let's encourage music making, shall we? So if I have if I have 11 11 is such an awkward number. I don't think we want 11. I think we want 10. So this this piece will end up being this long, maybe a little bit longer if we want to uh, slow it down and make it even more romantic. But what we've got here is an A section, a B section, and a transition, a little two bar transition out. FL Studio still supports Windows 8.1. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of a lot of places are are slowly phasing out the old operating systems. That's why I want to learn Linux eventually so I can build my own operating system and not have to worry about that anymore. Just oh, you need this node to operate? Mahaha, we have that. It's free and open source. You can do it forever. Uh, free and open source software is the future. Ableton Live is not free and open source software, which makes me sad, but it is the best software I have available, and I do have it available, and it's not a subscription service, so I'm happy to purchase a quality product and be able to use it a full life. At least until my computer updates to the point where I can't use it anymore. That's the problem. All software is software as a service. Okay. So I think what we want to do is Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking my thinking hat is on. I think we want to move this this last. So the transition will be just one bar in, one bar out. Cough, Filmora, cough. <laughs> What's Filmora? Mm. Filmora, easy to use video editing software. Is Filmora really free? Who 
who's the dragon sleeping on the book? Ah, uh, he's he's not. Sadly, he's no part dragon. Uh, he is a griffin, which is a mixture of cat and bird, and his name is Blue. Um, just like how I take on a human form when I go out into the real world, Blue takes on a cat form. And I have lots of pictures of him up on my Twitter, which you can find linked down below. The, t the Twitter is available. Uh, I should put my Blue Sky link up on my Twitch page too. All right. I think at this will be the intro. This first part. Oh, Filmora went to a subservice and screwed over all the lifetime members. Oh, shit. That sucks. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. Um, I recently purchased Microsoft Excel and Excel was all like, hey, just sign up for our service. It's so easy. It's simple. You can pay this amount of money every month and uh, use our service. And I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> so I have uh, an, a slightly out of date version of Excel, but the the opportunity cost of my soul has been maintained. Oh. Playing with blue. Thank you for playing with blue. So rowdy, he needs it. Uh, use DaVinci Resolve now. Nice. Um, I'm using what's it called? Shotcut. I'm using Shotcut, uh, which is just a you know a lovely little program. Where's my music? We need a chord progression. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is this is great. So essentially what it does, we're gonna do a phrase of this pattern. This pattern never heard of it may have to download it it's free and open source actually i've been using a lot of free and open source stuff lately um i've been using gimp for uh image stuff i just downloaded blender and i made my first blender object it was horrible <laughs> and i also downloaded a, a program called natron which is a free and open source software version of um Adobe After Effects. So I am I am trying my damnedest to not give Adobe money because I don't support their business model philosophically. So I think what I want to do for this is we're going to keep things in the key of G minor, but we are going to we're going to do some fourth motion, fourth wise motion. Yeah, so A, D. Um, is that right? A to D is a fifth. A, D. B flat. I didn't want to move that. B flat. E. And then that should give us get us back to G. Is that right? No, it's the other way around. Sorry. Um, this is some music theory stuff that's happening right now. I, it's OK if you're not following. Um, I'm doing a lot of the music theory in my head because that's where it all lives. Yeah, we need to end on G, which means we need to start on B, which is honestly perfect. So 
I feel sorry, sorry for students that have to use Adobe. Honestly, I feel sorry for schools that feel like they need to uh, perpetuate the use of Adobe as the standard. And I feel sorry for companies that are, you know, backlogged into contracts with Adobe that they're, um, they're trying to, you know, maintain it as the standard as well. Is there any place that I can send it to you? Uh, if you uh, follow me on Twitter, I'll follow you back. And then you can message me uh, whatever, really whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. This needs to be a C. This needs to be a A. Uh, this needs to be, wait, is this all correct? No, this needs to be a B flat. A... E bet. <laughs> um, e flat. D. G. D. Uh, B flat. Right? No, this is, wait, this is A flat. A flat is not in the key. F is. C is. So let's listen to this. Maybe we make that enough sharp. Uh, is this wrong? Is E flat in the key? E is in the key. A, E, B flat. Wild. suspended i you know i can't help you there um yeah so this is an excellent little pattern here and this will form the basis of our first phrase it's twitter stuff did it to me the other day yeah, that, I'm I'm becoming less and less interested in posting stuff there because it's just so bad. Legit, 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 legit. Okay. So in the B section, what we want to do, keep the rhythm, change the contour. And maybe maybe make it focus on the uh the fifth. Boom boom. Doom. Doom, doom. Try that on for size. Try that on. Ah. 
Uh, but it doesn't really sound romantic, does it? What makes this sound romantic? It's kind of smooth. It's head groovy. This is not. Okay, I don't hate that contour. I don't like the notes, though. Imagine why I banned you. Um, God, I have no idea why Twitter does anything these days. I didn't log in for a long time. Yeah, see, that's the thing. He keeps talking about, I, I say he. It's just Elon at this point, right? Papa Elon wants you to pay up. That's right. Do we like that? I don't think I like that. Kind of. Definitely gives the impression of a B section, which I like. Yeah, it really is just the one dude. He talked about recently uh, clearing up old accounts. And I'm like, there's going to be a lot of families of dead people who are going to be very upset about that. Um, you know, as far as as far as humanity goes, Twitter is not that old. I'll just go see how I use FL Studio. See you later. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck in FL Studio. I'm excited to hear some hell step. <laughs> hell step. Um, yeah, Twitter's not that old, right? It's less than a human generation old so like oh yeah there are there are definitely like people who would have had a twitter account and then passed away whose entire families are still alive and that person is within living memory and they don't want the twitter personification of them to disappear right so dumb but that's how it be uh you can't maintain your media empire forever right so um we're really getting into the d sharp into the the key of d right now aren't we yeah we are let's do it key of d the will of d F sharp, A, B, C sharp, perfect. And then this will be an E with a G. Yeah, the same thing is happening on I don't think we can. Oh, no. We have to we have to keep it in the mixolydian. Yeah, otherwise it just gets weird. Otherwise, it just gets too weird. Okay, so I think here's the structure of the piece. We have our intro bar. We have our 
phrase one, phrase two, and then outro bar, which um, I think what we want to do for the outro bar is uh, like this. Yeah. And then the melody comes in here. We have some tips on the melody too. Yeah, all these all these internet companies basically built up investor money on the promise of if they could have the freedom to create a good online service and build a large user base, that user base could be monetized. And people believe them because, of course, if you have millions of people all coming together on a single platform, of course you can ask them for money to support the platform, right? The problem is they wildly underestimated both how much money it costs to run a platform like that and how much money their uh, customers, if you can call them that, their users, were willing to give them. Because in the end, I mean, listen, it's a free service, right? You can get millions, billions of people flocking to a free service. But if it's not a free service, then only the people who need it are going to use it. Just straight up. I think we've got a good solid piece foundation here. And I think what I want to do is duplicate this and put it on a jazzy base. Uh, with none of this overdrive and um, let's see. Revert to default, perfect. Put it on a jazzy, jazzy bass, jazzy bass. And then uh, take all this, join, and you just drop it down an octave.
Yeah, we'll have to fix up the drums, but this is sounding good. Um, let's see if we can go back to that piece. Listen to it a little bit more. That is such a sick saxophone line. Damn. A damn. Let's see if I can replicate it. I find Twitter is great for keeping in contact with some of my new pills and friends, but I can walk away from it. There are alternatives I can use. Exactly. Exactly. I, I'm trying to import as many people as I can over to Discord. Um, obviously, like I said earlier, starting with the friend group um, so that I don't lose people. And as I expand, uh, I will also be bringing on uh, people like yourself, viewers, friends and friends and fans. Friends and fans. Okay, let's throw on another instrument here. And this is going to be the sax section. Yeah. So what's what's this? Um, Okay, I think that's our note. Papa da pa, papa. Do do. Papa pa, da 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 da. da mm, mm. One measure, one measure at a time. Sounds awful. Do we have any other? That's a that's a good switch. Why is that switch so good? Also need to probably but you can imagine it'll only be so long until discord also realizes that they're not making enough money off of their nitro or whatever
it's just a vicious cycle. Yeah, but here's the thing. Free and open source, right? If you, if you have, and, and donationware, right? Like Wikipedia, Wikipedia runs on donations. And of course, that's not all they run on, right? But they're pretty ad free and they do their donation drive every year, right? You have to separate the fixed costs from the, from the variable costs. The variable costs are your monthly maintenance fees, right? How many servers do you have? How many servers do you need? Discord needs a lot of servers. So if they don't get enough Nitro per month, then they're not going to meet their, their server needs. They're not going to be able to pay for their servers. Discord's going to shut down. But Discord also has fixed costs. Those are costs like development. You can't have Discord without development. And they are people's salaries. And so in addition to having enough Nitra to pay for all the servers, Discord also has to earn a certain amount of Nitra per month and if they don't do that, they don't have they don't have the money to pay their employees. They don't have the money to develop the product. They don't have the money to maintain the, the life cycle. They don't have the money to, you know, do anything. Right. So how do you solve that problem? Well, Wikipedia does it great. First of all, it's free and open source. So people can jump in and edit. And then the edit is the edit is approved by approved editors. Right. That's how it works. Um, but they still need server space and they do their yearly donation thing. And yeah, they meet, they meet their, their donations every year and they probably get a lot of help because they're doing an important service to humanity, right? They probably get grants and all sorts of like assistance from various government entities, but Wikipedia is global. Wikipedia is not dependent on a single government. It is probably assisted by governments, but that's because governments recognize its worth, right? And let's talk about something like Shotcut or Blender or VLC Player or GIMP or any of these other open source softwares, OBS, OBS, open source software, right? You don't even need server space for it. So once you have the thing developed, all you really need to do is pay for your continued development. And if it's free and open source, a lot of that development is going to come from informed users. You don't have to do market research because your users will tell you what to do. You don't have to do uh, development because you'll have users who see a problem and want to solve it. That's a human urge. That's why Wikipedia works is because people can't stand when things aren't correct, right? People want things to be right. Uh, hi, Ray. How are you? I'm good. I'm going on a little rant here. Uh, I'm doing well. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, you can sustain a product off of the power of the collective interest in making the product work. If I'm a user of your product, I have an interest in making it work. And if that means that I'm going to bug fix for you, I can do that. If that means I'm going to provide feedback on new features, I can do that. You don't need to research. You don't need to look into new new stuff. I can do that for you. Uh, and even 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 the sense of like having a quote unquote like customer service discord i'm i'm using a plugin called uh, or uh, an app called mix it up right now and they have a little customer service discord literally their customer service discord is just the people who are so invested in the app that they want to see it do well and those people probably do it in their free time they're so kind and love oh yeah we love mix it up Glad you're doing well. What you ran about? Uh, how um, corporate-funded internet spaces are not sustainable. <laughs> That's all. Like, 
people vastly underestimated the resources required to sustain and develop uh, internet communities like Reddit and Facebook and uh, Twitter. And now they're they're kind of falling apart because people are realizing that they don't want to pay for this free service that they, you know, have been using for so long. Uh, let's just duplicate this a little bit. Can we groove this and just this? I don't think we can. I don't think it's possible. No. A very slight groove. A very slight groove. Just uh, put that or uh, put that and just. Okay, uh, this is still sounding pretty, pretty cheesy, corny, bad, right? Go ahead, group pool. Oh, it's so loud. That is probably not helping. Um, yeah, so just like how a single company can do a research and try to prepare a project, a product that they think people will like and Sometimes they get it right and sometimes they don't. The fan base collectively knows what they want, right? The fan base collectively understands what they're looking for. The collective they collectively understand what they want. And so they're like, you know, they can guide the process. And in the same way, a developer can understand from their experience what would make a good change or upgrade to a, a app or a website. But the fan base knows what would make a good change or app to a website because the fan base has millions of times experience using your product than you do. And developing a product and using a product are two different skills. Don't at me. What if I did this? Not that. Nope, don't like it. Definitely sounds jazzy. We like jazz. We're going for like kind of a romantic sound though. Maybe a little like mm, steamy. I like steamy. Beetle. Beetle deedle. Beetle deedle deedle.
Vilililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
Uh, it sounds like a D&D &D monster, the, the coal bear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, he actually spells his name uh, like this. Uh, Colbert. But <laughs> the late show, it's for the late night show without any Stevens or Jimmy's. No Jimmy's, no Stevens, no Conan's. <laughs> well, I guess it would be, yeah, Conan is his first name. Spell names by ear. Same, dude. Same. I'm so bad at spelling. Um, okay, let's go into here. What are our notes? What of our notes? B flat to E. A to D. So first measure goes. Let's make these notes bigger so we can see the names. B flat to A. Oh, it's a full measure. Okay, one moment. A full measure, huh? Imagine having the name Colstein Randivu. Feel like I'm about to get D's nuts. You know what I'm saying? Why are you why are you why are you like this? What's the matter with you? Play the dang note. Why are you like this? Um, no, uh, why? No, give me this section. No, give me. OK, sorry. <sighs> Program's getting uppity on me. I mean, this section. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Stop. Oh, like turning rendezvous into rendezvous. Cool. Cool. Stein rendezvous. I don't know. It, now, now that you put it that way, it kind of sounds like a um, detective. Cool. Stein rendezvous. Uh, the next one is. E to D, E to D, E to D. E to D. Very detective-y. I, I actually don't think that we, we do all these this way. I think we do them this way. No, we do them E to D. How about E to F? Yeah, 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 yeah. Day after day, I live life a wreck. The powers that be just breathe down your neck. And then this one could be E to D. Wait, between. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hello. Hello, Sam. Welcome back. Uh. Oh, did you did you friend me on Twitter? Uh. Nope. I can receive stuff on Twitter. I do want to hear the hell step. Why is there no sound in my piano? Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. That, that one I can't help you with. No, oh, why is, why is this happening? We don't want this to happen.
thought there was something moon base alpha E. Why? It worked normal, but there's no sound. So audio, audio mixing, audio stuff like that. It's kind of an art. It's hard. Uh, I don't actually know how to solve your problem. That's the problem, is I don't know how to solve anything. Why are you doing this? understand why my uh, thing is not working. full scale to mix my audio like if it goes up to a certain number i start to adjust it and absolutely no peaking is allowed for me that's a good way to do it um they talk about that a little bit in this idea of uh what's called gain staging so uh over here you don't want any any peaks whatsoever but you also kind of want your gain to be low so that you can mix it all together nicely and you know, uh, make it work later. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to try something right here. I'm just going to make a little square here. I'm going to copy. Paste. Swing. Cool. Duplicate. Yeah, okay. All right. Somehow, this is working. This is working better. And this is, this is swung. So we have to swing everything now.
Sorry, my uh, wife is sending me messages out of nowhere. make a jingle soon, but I have to mix Japanese instruments using electronics, so that's going to be a thing for later. I admire all the projects that you're taking on, my dude. do to separate the A section and the B section is we'll actually have this this part in the in the uh, the instrument in the melody instrument and then we'll have the saxes do the the melody so what's the what's the instrument what's the what's the melody instrument well, it's going to be solo violin. Which means we can get started by putting this here. And hell yeah, violin and hearing how it sounds. It sounds awful because it's outside of the range of the violin. <laughs> Very romantic instrument. Yeah, so let's start by taking our basic pattern, uh, looping it. Doesn't sound good. Viola, maybe? That's so funny. I was just talking about viola the other day. also need to change these notes. kind of like keeping it the way it is like we changed the pattern in this section but i kind of like keeping it as it is here okay so when we're using this sort of instrument it's important to put a note let's put it down here we need a D-sharp zero right at the beginning. Why do we need a D-sharp zero right at the beginning? We tell it what articulation 
How do you even put any sound in the app? Uh, if no sound is coming out of the app, uh, I'm not familiar with Fruity Loops especially, but you might want to go into your preferences. And uh, I mean, you can't see this window, actually. You might want to go into your preferences and make sure that your audio sources are lined up. Uh, because oh, fixing audio is, oh, it's a nightmare. So highly, highly recommend looking into audio sources, um, seeing if seeing if something there might help. It's a little too groovy. Why don't we? Right? It's not bad, but it needed to be a little slower. in the violin too. Yeah. It has the groove, but it feels like it needs to be more sensual, right? Maybe even slower. Yeah, okay. So what if we did we make it this slow? This is getting right up to the two minute mark, too. Woo. Some elongated notes might help, too, I think. Yeah. Now we need to put the melody over this. And we do have a nice melody reference from the client as well. <gasps> you mean out. You're a deer. Thank you for the hydrate. I didn't know it'd be hard like this. Ah, thank you for the head pads. Um, it is hard. I, 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 I wish it wasn't. <laughs> but it is. It is hard. Um, you might want to try. I'm going to post this link in. Um, I'm going to post this link in the chat because it is an excellent resource if you're looking to do this kind of stuff. Uh, Bandlab.com. It's, it's a very similar interface. They have a ton of pre-made samples and it works through the same audio that your browser works through. So you should uh, be able to hear everything just fine. Classic band lab. I know it's a great tool. Honestly, if it was everybody's first DAW instead of garage band, I would be so happy because it's just a great, great, um, 
great, great thing. Uh, <laughs> we love band. Oh, yeah. I used to edit middies to sing my birthday songs for my friends. Let's go. Okay. Uh, speaking of <laughs> bands, we've got like a, a little duet here. Libertango. If you don't know Astor Piazzolla, mm. Astor Piazzolla, just amazing, amazing uh, musician, composer. Uh, so we are looking for violin between 55 seconds and a minute 45. Ooh, I mean, this is like, this is intense romance. This is passionate uh, dancing romance. This is you dancing your feelings out. Uh, <laughs> this is you and the object of your affections just like tangoing, uh, staring into each other's eyes, and you're dancing instead of fighting, essentially. This is intense. <laughs> But we get the idea. We get we're, we're starting to get the idea of the melody. It's these long notes, B, B, D, D, hitting the chord changes, right? So does that mean we need more chord changes? Maybe. So intense, and I love this. Honestly, look up all of Astor Piazzolla's work. It would actually go incredibly well for a uh, uh, circusy sort of style. Astor Piazzolla. Astor Piazzolla. So good. So good. Um, let's see. All right. So let's start with just a loop here. We oh yeah, some like sa sa sassy sexy violin. No. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Give me that sweet sustain. Higher. because we were one minute away from the Mission Impossible theme. Oh, no. Bum, 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 bum. Well, the, the, the nice thing about that is the Mission Impossible theme is in like, um, what, da, 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 da. the Mission Impossible theme is in, what is that? 5-8. So, but da, 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 it's in 10-16. N16, which I guess is the same as 5-8. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you care, if you're a music theory nerd uh, like me. So let's say beam louder, beam, beam. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, well, uh, we should use the right notes. Gotta go now. See you later. It's five four maybe. Uh, five. The difference between five four and five eight is just counting, I think. Um. But thanks for stopping in, Ray. Really appreciate it. Sick suggestion on the uh, saxophones. And have a have a good night. We just all right what if we just what no can't do that but i can't do that um there we go do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 Can I just wait? I forget there's so many cool tools in this uh, Ableton thing. Do you, one, two, three, boom. Do 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 so it ends here. B B B B B B Do do do. do. Before we go on, let's just make sure these notes are nice and um, good. Not quite that much. There we go. Still not quite that much. Wow, oh, there's really not a whole lot of leeway on these notes, is there? Maybe we can work off of this as our next part. Hmm. 
Not exactly, though. Or maybe we do like uh, this, 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 this. quite feeling it yet. I don't quite like the matching up here. That's better. Better, better, better. No. We have to decide what kind of uh, melody we want to do. And I think for this one, uh, we want call and response. So that means we change this first part here and leave the second part mostly intact. And if we're ending on this note, maybe we can start on that note as well. Bum. One, two, three, four, two. Do, do, do. Bum. Dun, dun, dun. Bum. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Ba. Ba. Yeah. Oh. 
Why does it sound so bad? I think we have to go back to here. What is happening? Why is it changing? What is happening? Well, this is part of the process, right? Troubleshooting. And I knew you were troubleshooting when you walked in. Maybe these just need to be a little less loud. You need that now. So what we can try to do 
is take this, basically do the same thing that we did last time. So join them up. Uh, uh, select all, drop it down to a more reasonable range. Get rid of that net. We might have to change this to, to D. It, 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 it is working. Okay, nice. We can add the harmonization in. So now let's just go through and make sure that all these notes are in the, uh, as they call it, the D mixolydian scale. So, so for example, these Bs are correct, but these B flat here should not be that way. And the F should be sharp. C sharp? No. C natura. C naturala. Okay, and also you have to remember saxophones need to take breaths.
Okay. Uh, so, at voila, I think we've got the basis of a track here. more sexy than romantic. Let's be real. different ending. We need a different ending. Um, Let's pump it up a little bit, but before we do, I'm just going to close, close the program real quick and reopen it uh, because I think something is slightly off and I'm going to just reset everything so we can fix it. Yeah. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, troubleshooting, troubleshooting. All right, now let's start.
So the last thing we want slash need to do is fix up these drums. So the drums right now are in a four bar pattern. But we can start off the drums a little bit quieter. Honestly, these can just come down. Uh-huh. We'll remove the ride symbol at the beginning of the second and fourth bar. Yeah, just a, a nice little uh, symbol lead in. Nothing serious. Just keep let's just let's just have the the stabs in this first part. Makes the repeat a little bit more palatable. Yeah, time for a break. 
important. Yeah, all right. All right, we'll get rid of the violin there. It's very intense. I don't know. I don't know. Is this? I don't know if this is what I'm going for. This is at a fine, fine stopping point. We'll see. We'll see what the uh, verdict is on this from the client, Mr. Board Brain. Uh, and uh, maybe there'll be a lot of changes. Maybe there'll be zero changes. Let's see. This is the. Red Hot Lounge V1. Red Hot Lounge V1. Baby. You gotta you gotta uh, provide evocative names to music because music does not um music does not lend itself to language inherently. Inherently. Ugh. Ah. Well, these music streams have been a little bit shorter than three hours. I think that's okay. We don't need to do it every single time. We don't need to go the distance, the full, the full Nelson every single time. So why don't we uh, turn on some BGM? Yeah. Where's my BGM tracks?
Sure. And let's find someone to raid, shall we? There are quite a few people that um, are probably logging off at this point in the evening, though. We have to try to find the people who are, like, uh, just getting started. I mean, there's Robin. Didn't we raid Robin last week? I think so. In fact, I'm sure of it. Oh, hey. Uh, Cookie Usakita is doing Gunpla. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, let's read Cookie. Yeah. Alright. Let me do this right. Start raid. Raid. Massage. In the chat. Raid massage in the chat. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. If you are still in chat, please grab the raid message. And let's go say hello to Cookie. It is late. And we are... So tired, but if you can stick around for the raid, that'd be lovely. My name's Isaac Anzu. Thank you so, so much for joining. Uh, I hope this romantic music puts you in a, a loving mood, and I hope you direct all that love towards yourself. I'll see you next time. Farewell. <laughs>